Welcome to another Glen Tech video. So be sure to subscribe and take a look around. We got tons of video covering every part of website building, cPanel, themes, and much, much more. In this particular video, we will be going over how to edit the full width slider. And what we will be covering is how to change the size of the slider, how to change the images on the slider, and how to change the speed and much more on the slider. Okay, let's get to it. So we're going to be editing the Trust One. And what we're going to be making the edits with is the slider. So you can see here we have a slider. We have text on it, changes, slides along, full screen. We're going to explain how to change your text, how to add images, and do anything you basically like with it. So the first thing you have to do is to log in to cPanel. Now, I always try to say this in the beginning because if you're new or you haven't used our, you know, any of our themes yet, you should know cPanel is a very user-friendly interface. And you really need to know something about it. We have a complete playlist covering every part of cPanel. So subscribe and take a look if you're new or you don't understand or you're afraid of it. It's very user friendly once you figure it out. So when we go through this, we're going to assume you already know the basics of cPanel and we're just going to move on. Click on File Manager. And we go down Public HTML. Depending on how you have your store, if it's in a address.com, your store will be here. Now, if you look at ours, we got it in a subfolder and subfolder. So we're going to have to go to the subfolder and we're going to have to find this trust one subfolder. Now, this is what your store will look like. Well, we, once you're in your store, what you need to do is you click on includes, click on templates. And then you see here, you have your templates. Now the top three here are the ones that come with Zencart and the Trust One is the one we've added and we're gonna change. So we click on that. First thing we do, we go to Common and then we go to TPL Header PHP. Edit, Edit. Now this will be all the way at the bottom of TPL Header HP. TPL header PHP. Okay. And you can see here it says start slider. So basically what I do and what I always tell everybody to do is take this before you do anything, highlight the whole thing, and it'll say in slider down here. Copy it and paste it in a notepad. That way if you mess anything up, all you have to do is you come back and you simply, you know, do the whole thing again. And you can see we can copy it and it's gone. And then you can paste back from your notepad in it back in there and it's back. This is just to help you out so you don't make, make a mess and not be able to fix it. So like I said, we try to be very user friendly here. So you have some different options here. The first one here is autoplay. Now you, you take note of where you're at. Now these numbers aren't going to necessarily match up on your cPanel, but you see it says start slider and then it's got a couple lines and it talks about autoplay. True. So if you make this to false, what will happen is it won't change itself. You would have to change it kind of defeats the purpose of slider, but if you want it that way, it's available. The next thing we can do is autoplay speed. Okay, and that is the speed of which it takes. So if you watch at the bottom, it's got a bar, a red bar to where it will change the image. And you see the bar going across, blah, 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 blah. So that's what we're changing is the speed. So let's change it to, so you can really notice it, let's change it to 1000, see what happens. And we'll reload. 
Okay, so you see how fast it's changing now? So let's put it back to five. So you can make it as slow or as fast as you'd like. Sorry about my phone. Um, and slow is as fast as you like to suit your needs. So you, you know, if you have a lot of options for people to read and you want them to really look at it, you may want to make it longer or you may want to make it shorter. It's up to you. The next is the speed. Now that is the speed in which it changes. So if you watch it when it changes image, you see how fast that changed the image. So let's just make it, let's just go 10 to see what happens. So reload it. And we got our time for it to show. And then it just changes automatic almost. There's no delay in it. I don't know if that was very easy to see, so let's try something different. Let's try 9,000. Okay, save. Reload. And let's see how it looks now. See how slow it's moving to the next frame? So that is because we made it 9,000. Originally it was 1,000, so let's put it back there and see what it looks like. So that gives you some adjustments to make it your own. Basically, one other thing that you can adjust here. You don't want to mess with these two things, but the pause on hover so what that is saying is right now if you mouse over it see the mouse is over it it will not change it will stay there it's pretty simple if you don't want that you just change the word true to false so it'll say pause on hover false and that's pretty much all you can edit there so we come down and you can see here is the address for your image now we're going to see how to change the images in a, in a couple minutes, but at any rate, that is your images. Then we got the text. So let's just try new text. Save our changes, go over here. See, we got new text here. Basically, what you have is, you know, you're, you can type your text. H3 is the size, H5, the higher the number, the smaller the writing, as you can see here. You can play around with it a little bit and get it the way you want. But that is basically what's here with all of them. This is just gibberish. As you can see, they all use H3 and H5. If you change it to H1, it'll be bigger. But you, what you have to do, you have to make sure that you don't disturb the arrows in between. When it says H3, that is the start of a text. And then it says slash H3, that is the end of the text. So at any rate, that's how you adjust the text. So that's pretty much all we can do with this part of it. And as you can see, the images are named IMG5. So that's where we're going to go next. So we're going to close out of here. And we're going to go up one level. And just to show you, we're still in this trust theme. And then we're going to go to the folder images. You remember the address, it was IMG1, PNG, PNG. So those are your images up to five. If you want to change an image, first thing you have to do is you have to realize that you can only have one name per image. What we have to do is rename it. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick a one there. 
rename that one and we're going to rename two of them. We're just going to change two of them so you can see how to do it and the rest of them will be the same. Let me just go back in here again so I can show you. Edit, edit, and go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, you see here that is your image images so see here those are your images I am IMG three four five so you can see we're inside the image folder so just so you can help you understand now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna upload new images now if you're absolutely sure like these images you're never going to use them you just want to get rid of them well then you could you know completely delete them but we're going to upload a couple images and we're going to go back and we got image one what happened to our image two oh there it is image two now you notice image one says jpg and if you remember, the ending of all this was PNG. So see, they're all PNG. You have to make sure they have the same last part. So see, some of these are JPG. Okay, and down here, they're JPG. They have to have the correct name with them. So the one JPG, what we can do, we can come over here and image one is the one that's not right, isn't it? We can change. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have that. So we go over here again, we're going to reload and you see we got a blank spot where it says new text because we have the wrong address there. So then the image two should be our new image. There's our new image. Okay, so we're going to change this to JPG. We're going to save our changes. We're going to come back here. We're going to reload. And there it is. The thing about this right here is you sometimes you have to edit your pictures so they will work in the screen that you got i'm going to show you how to adjust the screen some also but in other words uh the picture doesn't always fit so let's let it switch over oh no we yeah and if you, you see this that is not what the image looked like i will show you what the image looks like That is what the image looks like. But do you see what's showing up? So you have to resize it and make it fit in there, which you can do easily through your uh, Windows program. So we're going to put it back. And we're going to, you know, like I say, if you're sure you're not going to use that image, you can just delete it. And then image two, we can just delete 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 and then we're going to rename image one again and then we're going to rename image two again and then we're going to come over here and change this back to png we're going to save our changes and we're going to come back and we're going to reload and boom, our image is back. Now this I kind of threw together without a whole lot of conscious thought. And that's actually three different uh, images I stuck together as one. And here is one image, but you can see it doesn't take up the whole screen. You might have to use a little creativity to get it to do that, you know, get it to fit the way you want. There are a couple more things we can do. 
So after we go up one level, we want to enter CSS. So we open the folder CSS, and we go down to Style Sheet CSS, Edit, Edit, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And we're going to see our slider here. We're going to, there's not a whole lot of changes, but one is the height. So right now, we have the height here. So let's change it just to be dramatic, make it five. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so you see how tiny it is? That's obviously unusable, but and it was 65, right? Let's make it 650. Now it's huge. But you can see our image isn't fitting right anymore. There's a happy medium, but you can adjust it. Say, so you, you know, to be realistic, say we can go from 65 to 55. So that just made it a little bit smaller. So we're going to put this back at 65. Save. Again, you can't go by these numbers here. They're going to be different. So what you have to do is you have to compare yours with what is going on here. And I'll say slider style change height. And that is the only real adjustment right there that you can do. And the rest of this is all kind of making it work. There's one other thing you can do right here. It says add blur. So see it says filter blur, zero picks. We're going to put a 10 picks. This way you can see what it actually does. And then I'll go a little bit more and explain it. So you see how blurry it is. I mean, that's too blurry to see the image. But what you could do is you could make it two picks. And some people like this, you know, depending on your images, it just adds a little bit of shadow, a little bit of fuzz to your images. And some people like the way that looks. That's the other thing you can do. We're going to save that, put it back, and see if you can tell the difference right away. We reload it. See how it's clear? You can also, if you do this, you can use points. So you can use a 0 0.5. Okay, and that's like a half of a pix. And that'll just give it just a hint. It's hard to even tell. Okay, so that is pretty much the only adjustments here, everything else is just how it making it work. And there's no real adjustments or whatever like that. So if we go back, we reload. And like I had said or mentioned before, I put some of these images together. You got to play with the heights and widths. And I just uh, pasted three images together and and put them up like this so they were one image. So you can see these are just, you know, nothing real thought out images. They're just images. You can add your text at every place. You see the different changes you can make with it. I hope this helps you out and be sure to subscribe and look around our YouTube channel. We have videos covering every part of website building, everything you need to know. Thank you for watching. You have a pleasant day and we'll see you in the next video.